to a given infinite straight line from a given point which is not on it to draw a perpendicular straight line. What is given is an infinite straight line and a point that is not on it. And it, what is required is to draw a perpendicular straight line. So, let A and B be our infinite straight line. And C, the point that is not on the line. For let a point D be chosen random in the other side of the infinite straight line. With center C and distance CD the circle E F G can be described. We know this because of postulate 3. Now let EG be bisect by H. We know this because of proposition 10. Now let the straight lines CG, CH and CE be joined. We know this because of postulate 1. I say that CH is perpendicular to the infinite straight line AB and it has been drawn because of the point C that is not on the line. For since GH is equal to HE, and HC is common. And GHC these two sides is equal to EHC. Respectively, the base C G is equal to the base CE. Therefore, the angle CHG is equal to the angle CHE. And they are adjacent angles. But when a straight line is set up on another straight line, it creates 
and adjacent angles equal to one another. Each of them is right. And the straight line that is standing on the other is called perpendicular to the line in which each line stands. We know this because of definitions 10. Therefore, CH is a straight line that is perpendicular to the infinite line AB and it is created because of the point C that is not part of the line.